Holy crap! I know. Beer! We're back! <laughs> Jeez, it's been forever. It has, It's and it's all my fault. So I know we've gotten millions of comments saying, why haven't you guys put out a video? And it's because <laughs> uh, I've had family in town like last three weeks actually. So yes, I canceled yeah. on Jesse every time. Um, but we're back. Yeah. That's okay. I wasn't crying too much. I mean, I was just like, uh, okay. Good yeah. Evening to myself to drink beer. So that's, I'd be doing this with or without him in front of y'all or not. So yeah. it doesn't really matter. So Dan gave us these beers. He did. Uh, and they're from where? From Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. Dan is from Oklahoma. Just ask him. Or yeah. See the shirts that he wears. He's, yeah. He loves Oklahoma. He, he is a Sooners fan. Yeah. I, I think Oklahoma's okay. You were waiting all day for that, word. <laughs> no, but once, once you said Oklahoma, I was like, oh yeah, yeah. let me pull that joke out and dust it off. <laughs> we were just talking about dad jokes too. Yeah. <laughs> like he's in the mode, he's in the, he's in the groove. Yeah. That's funny. So should I start pouring while you tell us about the beers? Or yeah. do you want to talk about Co-op Ale Works first? Yeah, co uh, so I think it's Coop. Coop. Coop Ale I think. There's no dash in it. So. There's not, so it's not like a co-op or... Yeah. They're not communists or anything I don't think well they might be yeah or, they, or hippies well yeah which is fine that yeah. hippie brewing yeah. and or is that a commune that's a commune yeah that's a yeah. commune yeah. yeah so but yeah coop coop ale works I'd be interested to it was even on their site and I didn't think to look up what the if they had a history or an about hmm. so anyway but they for those of you any of you that are in Oklahoma City at 4745 Council Heights Road Oklahoma City Oklahoma nice. so if you're passing through Look them up. Yeah. I don't know. So, but the first one we're doing is DNR. For do not resuscitate. That's, that's has a nice picture of a guy, guy's foot or a person's foot with a toe tag with a toe on tag, it. toe tag, which I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and that's uh, Belgian strong ale, 10%. Ooh. Yeah, this is gonna, we'll see how If you didn't goes. tell me it was a Belgian strong ale, I would have known it was a Belgian beer as soon as I opened the can. As soon as you can. cracked it open? Yeah. And all of the flavor, or all the aroma. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. That smells very nice. Mm, yeah, yeah, it does. It's good. So, yeah, yeah, it's at 10%, 30 IBU. Mmm. So, it's not boozy at all. I'm not really getting any heat off of it. Oh, maybe a little heat in the throat. Yeah, in the throat, swallow, just a yeah. little bit. Yeah. I wouldn't have known it from the taste, though. No, no, not at all. What's getting me is that there's kind of a very biscuity, maybe? No, actually, I'm getting some heat on the end now, too. It has a bit of a, like, a vinous flavor to it, too. Hmm. Oh, I don't know, maybe not. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, for me, it's only, it's, it's only the only mm -hmm. way I can describe it. It's kind of biscuity. Biscuity. Yeah. So I'm real sensitive to fusels and higher alcohol, so <clears throat> you got to forgive me on that. It, it is, well, it's 10%, so sometimes it's hard to hide. Hard to hide. Man, it just pops with flavor, though, almost mm -hmm. citrusy. I mean, it's not quite citrus, but it's just mm -hmm. get that same impression. Gorgeous yeah. color, too. Yeah, it is. Nice gold. Hmm. That'd be a good sip of beer right there. Not a lawnmower beer. No, this no. is not a lawnmower beer. Yeah, after a couple swallows, the heat kind of builds up a little bit. Yeah. And like the first one, I didn't really get it. And then the second one was like, oh yeah, a little bit. And then by the third and fourth sip, yeah. it's like, oh yeah, that's yeah, really is. hot. Yeah. yeah. Which is good, which is good. I mean, this would be, in the winter, that'd be a nice, oh, yeah, warm, absolutely. You know, warmer beer. Well, it's not too heavy. I mean, mm. so. Well, it's definitely got a medium, medium mouthfeel, medium body. Yeah, that's a big beer. That tastes like a big beer. Yeah, that's okay. Well, I wish I could really put my finger on that because it's very unusual for a Belgian beer. It's not like anything I'd ever had before. Like I said, it's kind of bready or biscuity, maybe. Not acidic. No, no, it's definitely malty. It's like I get more of a, I don't like a cider character to it, or a 
a, a wine-like flavor to it. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm misinterpreting because it's coming in right about the time that it starts getting warm. And I'm in, my brain is yeah, transposing that to... No, I think I can see what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, but that's definitely a sipper, for sure. That's yeah. a great beer. No, that's good. I like that. Yeah. yeah that's right. So the next one is F5 IPA. Uh, this one's at 7.1% ABV and 85 IBU. Another non-small beer. I didn't, didn't agitate that one much for you. I apologize. That's okay. That's good. It has a nice head on it. Mm. We're joking that Dan gave us these beers so long ago they probably forgotten that he gave them to us. Yeah. I said, well, you should ask him. Say, hey, when are you gonna give me those beers? Yeah, so I assume tomorrow I'll be like, hey, you said something about some beers. Oh yeah. Well, the window's closing. You got from now until when we publish this. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Hmm. <laughs> smells mm. great. Yeah. No kidding. I like the way the sweet malt flavor kind of mingles with the hop flavor. Yeah. Yeah, it's bitter, but it's not. I mean, enough to let some malt shine through. Yep. Is that is that pine pine and citrus you got? I think so. I yeah. kind of cheated today, and I read the read the description on the beer advocate. We talked about grapefruit and pine. Um, yeah, I mean, I get yeah. the. I think the mole even shines during the aroma. Too. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's definitely got that sweet backbone. That's it's a nice, too. nice dry finish. Yeah, that's a great yeah. IPA. Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. That's right up my alley as far as IPAs go. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's bitter, but it's not like. Well, I mean, the hops dominate, but they they're not the entire. Beer. Yeah, yeah, and they're not hitting you over the head with a basket of hops. No, that's a great level of, of hoppiness and bitterness. Mm -hmm. Well done. Yeah. No, yeah. That's, I'm glad he... Dan, thank you. <clears throat> so, yeah, definitely appreciate you giving us the beer. Yeah. For sure, yeah. So we invited Dan on the show and he he's just like, no, nah, I don't think so. Yeah. So, but maybe next time. He said, not with those two. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. I don't want to steal the show, you know. <laughs> Come to Dan's show like it always does. No, but he's, uh, yeah, I almost talked him into, I don't want to give too much, but he had an opportunity to go to the East Coast. Uh -huh. and I think he has connections in Philadelphia. I was like, really? Do you now? <laughs> he decided not to go. So, one of these days, maybe. You're I'll trying to make him truck beer across the country. Going to make him a beer mule for us. Beer yes. mule, yeah. Yeah. So, which I think he'd be okay with, but. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, that's a long haul. Yeah. So. So some of my family that came out was my niece Edie and she brought us uh, some beer from Three Taverns Brewing in uh, Atlanta. And uh, two of them are sours, one of them's a very interesting sounding barrel aged beer. Mm. And uh, I was looking at a couple of, oh there's a bottle shop too that had a, just a long list of stuff. But yeah, I think I'm planning on going back to Georgia real soon, set a date and go and you know, definitely bring back some beer. Excellent, yeah, good. U-Haul. Yeah, well I got a good excuse to get a U-Haul because we have a bunch of furniture that my mother-in-law wants oh. that I also would like to get out of my house. And uh, so, yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, well yeah. we got this empty trailer. What are the, we gonna do with it? Giant truck. What, It'd be a shame to return it to the U-Haul conveniently located in this state. <laughs> <laughs> For half the price. <laughs> Might as well load it up by a bunch of beer that I don't necessarily need. Drive it across the country. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's okay. Yeah, I'm happy for whatever drips and drabs and scraps that people send our yeah. way. So, yeah, I, I know last time I went out to <clears throat> Pennsylvania way, I came back with like a six pack yeah. of Yingling. Yeah, maybe next now time. Now you know better. Uh, now I know yeah. better. Yeah. Well, you got to hurry because you could really profit off of that. If you brought it back in quantity. Yeah, cash in on the hype. Yeah, before these. I heard the friend of, a Facebook friend of mine is in Texas and he just so happened to grow up very near me in Pennsylvania. And I guess they're starting to sell Yingling oh, down there. Oh, it's in Texas, okay. Yeah, because it's starting to be brewed down the 
Coors, I guess Coors Brewery or whatever yeah, breweries down there, yeah. Molson, I don't know. Oh, are they doing contract now? I think so. Okay. I think that's, that was the agreement that they signed with Coors Molson. Yeah. Because they're one yeah, so conglomerate, right? Miller. But there's another name, I think. Yeah, there is. I yeah. can't remember what it is. Yeah, another one of the big ones. But yeah, I think they're brewing that beer in their breweries elsewhere. So. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a matter of time before it comes here. Sweet. Actually, that's super excited because one of the breweries I remember from Atlanta was <coughs> Sweetwater. Yeah. And they're opening up a brewery in Fort Collins. Wow. I guess Red Truck shut down. Oh. I don't know if they shut down or closed that location, mm -hmm. but Sweetwater is going to brew there and they're distributing across the West Coast as well. Oh. You know. Yeah, I remember you talking about that. I was looking forward to trying that. Yeah. Hmm. Very cool. More breweries is always better. Yeah, yeah as far definitely. as I'm concerned. So, good deal. So, if you want to send us beer, send us an email to Mike at, is it Co Brew Talk or Colorado Brew Talk? Yeah, it's, leave us a comment. Yeah, a comment, and we'll give you a neat, good email. I think, I think it's, it's Colorado Brew Talk. I'm not sure. I thought it was Cold Brew Talk, but oh, maybe it we'll is. We'll figure it out. Hang on one second. Okay. So email Jesse at cobrewtalk.com or Mike or at Mike. cobrewtalk.com. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. For sure. We should come up with an address like send us beer at cobrewtalk.com. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think I might know the guy who can facilitate that. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I'll see. I'll send so, him an yeah. email at mike at sealbrewtalk.com. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway, yeah, is that it? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, once again, Dan. Thank yeah, you thanks a lot, Cheers. Dan. Really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our website at coloradobrewtalk.com for more great content. While you're there, be sure to leave us a comment or drop us a line with your thoughts. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter at CO Brew Talk, or follow the links below. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future content. Or episodes, as the case may be. <laughs> <laughs>